Um, excuse me. <laughs> I hate to interrupt, but, uh... Attention! Oh, <laughs> pilot on deck! Division, halt! Yes, yes sir, sir pilot. pilot! Oh, yeah, I mean that. <clears throat> well done. Oh, crap. More of them. Ah, uh, <laughs> in the... Uh, attention! Bailiff on deck! <laughs> Hello? Uh, bailiff on deck! Yeah, we've noticed. Tell us something we don't know. Really? Mind your manners, will you? A little more respect for our bailiff. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah? He's got a point. After all, he's the bailiff. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm, 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 after all, I'm the, I'm the bailiff. Uh, remember that. I'm headed for the bridge. Take me to the right level. But, babe, you should know what level that is. Yes, of course I do. I just wanted to test whether you know it, too. Is this the right floor, Bailiff? You should know that, being a Bailiff and all. Ah, <laughs> of, of course. Uh, of, of course. Are you completely sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'm the Bailiff. I'm always sure. Good to know. Time to disembark, everyone. The Bailiff says we're here. Um, uh, yes. Oh, Cletus? No. Argus! You guessed it. And you must be Rufus. Some nerve you've got coming here. Foolhardy and stupid. As always, or don't you realize that I will now have to break every single one of your bones? Did you wait? Can't we come up with a, a more peaceful solution? I don't think so. The time for amicable agreements has expired. I've been looking forward to this day. Put him up! Oh, oh, oh. oh. Just you wait. Ow! Oh, cut it out. Now, what's the purpose of this? Ow! Just give up. Cut it out! What have we here? A throttle valve to adjust the elevator's speed. Who we'll needs that kind of thing? Ow! Nah. Oh. Ow! Hey! Team is waiting impatiently. Waiting? For your speech, of course. And allow me to add that I am no less excited myself. Your speeches are always so inspiring, so eloquent. You play the crowd like a, a virtuoso plays his piano. And if I may say so, a less charismatic orator would literally be torn to pieces by such an audience. <laughs> he would. Oh, certainly. But your words are like magic. Inimitable. <laughs> but here I am, just raving on. You should get started before the crowd grows even more agitated. Yeah, yeah, nobody wants that. Electrify us. Work your magic. Guys, just a moment. I, I, I think, um... Gentlemen, we are about to be addressed by our great role model. Our leader. Our mentor, our idol, Bailiff Argus, who just a moment ago personally assured me that the speech he's about to deliver will inflame your hearts 
for our common cause. And now, stand to attention. You are now being addressed by Bailiff Argus. He knew this, and he just let me walk into it. What an ass. Um, yeah, Tom. What on... Well, I mean, that... Uh, ass. I don't... No. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is... That, 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 um... Ass. Right here by my side. Is only one of the eleven thousand asses aboard this ship. <laughs> the Organon is an organization of asses. That's how we were constructed. That is our destiny! I know, I know. Why is he saying those things? Well, this is why. Just look around. What are we actually doing here? We're supposed to destroy a planet for which we don't give a rat's ass. For people who don't mean shit to us. Isn't it time to realize that we are the asses here? Then why don't we do what is expected of us? And shit on them! Come on, say it! We don't give a shit! Look at you! We're doing the dirty work for those up there! Do you think any of them would dream of getting their hands dirty? Blowing up the planet? Terrorizing Deponians? And all those other things we do? No! They're sitting comfortably on their fat asses! And those asses, my fellow bums, that's us! Just look at me! I know you all think I'm an ass. Because I'm acting like one. But why is that so? Only because it is expected of me. As a superior. One is always half ass, half role model. And when I treat you shittily, you simply pass it on to those below you. In truth, the hierarchy is nothing but a chain of asses giving each other shit. Just look at our logo. Looks like somebody put their butt on the photocopier during an office party. And now, the result is proudly displayed on our banner. The print of a gigantic, flabby ass. So why be surprised when they treat us like asses? Name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we're the asses here. But is that something to be ashamed of? I say, no! I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass! And you're all asses too! It's time to show the world what's inside us. Long live the Organon!
What a book! Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the hymn? The hymn? Exactly. Following each of your speeches, you lead us in our hymn. You can't have forgotten. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The hymn. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Here we go. Organon. Oh, Organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Organon. Oh, Organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Orga non. Mysterious companion, I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire organ onto this high boat. What? That can't be true! Where is that traitor? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is, someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Argus! I don't believe it! You are trying to deceive me! To bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back! Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me. Or me! What's going on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter. Which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia. Right now, Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop! Ulysses! You fool! This is madness! My decision stands! Don't try to stop me! But... But what? But what about you? You're gonna die as well! True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Huh! So you've got a conscience after all. You don't have to do this. Oh yes, I do. But why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Who or what is forcing you? I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. That isn't a dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on the Lysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia, I'm doing this for you, Gold. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Deponia will be destroyed, and Elysium can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. 
I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go! What? Wait, how? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew he would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was you! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us and your precious daughter. Exactly. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation. But that's impossible. Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. So am I. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Whoa. Uh, uh. Oh.